Okay, everybody, i got about six minutes left here, so I'm going to try to make this a quick six minutes to talk about something I just recently found out about um, as soon as I got home. And that was the fact that MVP, Montel Vontarius, Vontarius Porter, was released by WWE. Now, at first, a lot of people, I'm pretty sure I saw a video or so, were pissed off about this because they think WWE did it on purpose. But obviously, we found out that MVP was the one that wanted to be released. He asked and received. He asked for it, and he received it. And now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are wondering why MVP did this. Well, according to MVP's tweet, he on Twitter, he wanted to go international and freshen things up. In other words, he wants to look at new competition. He wants to probably try his hands at new competition around the world. Well, as well as freshen himself up, his character or any character associated with who he was in WWE. So anyway, anyway, so anyway, why would MVP do this? Why would MVP ask for his release from the WWE? People would wonder, would wonder this. Well, I'm pretty sure there are some people that are like, you know, it's about time MVP died, MVP left. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are thinking about that. And you know why? My honest opinion as to why guys like MVP and Matt Hardy and whoever else ask for the release or wait to be released, at least from a company like WWE or even TNA, because they want to go elsewhere. They want to try their hands, like MVP said, and possibly going international and wrestling el elsewhere and freshening things up. Or they want to go work for another promotion. Like say Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy is probably going to be debuting within the next month or so in TNA. We see that already. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Again, people wonder why. Well, there's many reasons why wrestlers and even knockouts and divas ask for the releases or just wait to be released and probably us happy that they are. Because like I said, not only can they go to other promotions, but they can finally be free to do what they want, be themselves. I know a lot of people would say, well, you know, depending on how you look at depending on how you look at it, WWE's PG atmosphere is causing a lot of the wrestlers and divas, if you will, to you know, ask for their releases or wait to be released so they can go and wrestle for a company like TNA that's TV-14, and if you will, and thus be allowed to do a little bit more, be have a little bit more leniency, if you know, if you know what I mean. People could look at it that way. But then again, people could look at it like, well, maybe they just want to try the opportunity of something else. And that's the whole reason for it. Yeah, you could look at it and maybe they want to go and have more leniency, more freedom if they work for a company that's like in the 14 ratings. While others that would like to go be released from a company that's in the 14 ratings and possibly get signed by a company that's in the PG ratings might be doing it more for financial reasons and more exposure. That's right. I mean, true. That person, man or fem man or woman, may have to go into a new gimmick or a new name change. But so what? To them, they feel as though their opportunity is to make more money if they leave a company like TNA or Ring of Honor and go to WWE. Even if they're stuck with the dumbest gimmick WWE can think of, at least they'd be making money. More money than they did in the other two promotions. So it's kind of like a balancing out, if you will. You know, some want to leave WWE for green for other pastures. You know, freshen themselves up, like MVP said. You know, go international, try out new. You know, try out new competition. Or in other in other words, or if you look at it from another perspective, maybe they want to have more leniency, more freedom, and maybe they want to go work for a company that's in the 14 range. If you know what I mean. But then again, the balancing out of that is uh, those in TNA and Ring of Honor that want to go to WWE, not just because, you know, they can get more exposure and more opportunity to, 
you know, improve and craft themselves into a better wrestler or diva or knockout, whatever, but for more financial reasons. So, to me, it's just a balancing out. That's all it is. That's all it is to me. So, that's all I'm going to say. Tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you all later.